Hello everyone, my name is Hesam and in this lesson we're gonna cover uh, number two of this packet that we have the, which is surface winds calculation, the headwinds and the crosswind components. So we are going to uh, go to this section. Uh, with help of this table right here we're gonna find out our crosswind and our headwind components. So why, why is it important for us to find out uh, uh, headwind and crosswind components. As pilot, uh, as good pilot, you always want to face the wind uh, as close as possible uh, when you take off and you land. So it not only maximizes your performance and uh, makes you become airborne or land quicker, and uh, it's also it's safer for you uh, to uh, take off through a headwind and uh, have as less as uh, crosswind component as uh, it might be. So uh, today we are working on uh, John Wayne Airport. So uh, we got the uh, METAR from uh, aviationweather.gov and our winds are coming from uh, one niner zero at 18 knots. And uh, uh, we are about to uh, choose a runway. So uh, this this chart will help us to choose our runways. Which runway is it do does have the uh, least number or the minimum number, minimum uh, degree of uh, like crosswind. So uh, if you look at this chart, I'm going to explain this chart's component a little bit more further, and then uh, we come ba we come back here and we find out uh, which runway we are going to choose, and also. Uh, what is our gradient of that runway? So let's let's look at uh, here. If you look at this chart like this, uh, you always uh, want to take off uh, into the wind. So these yellow lines, these yellow lines that you see here, these are the angles of the wind. So if we have zero angle between our runway and the wind that is coming t uh, at us, it's going to be uh, zero degree. So we have no crosswind. It's just only have we we have only headwind. If we have a ten wind, ten ten knots of wind, uh, we have uh, this much of. Uh, uh, suppose uh, if we have like thirty-five knots, so we have this much of headwind, and then we have five knots of crosswind. So these yellow lines represent the angles of the wind between angle between the wind direction and the runway, and these blue lines represent the velocity or the intensity of the. Uh, that total wind that's coming from uh, uh, to us. Uh, so this is eight, uh, 60 knots, 55 knots, and all the way down to uh, 15, 10, and uh, finally 0. So let's go back here. So uh, w we know that uh, this is the uh, John Wayne diagram, the airport diagram. Uh, today's wind is reported at 190. So 190, if uh, you imagine this uh, uh, red uh, bar is the um, actually the wind so uh, we can see that uh, the winds are coming from souther southerly like uh, right here so this is our wind it's coming from 190 so I'm gonna drag this and put it on on the wrong ways that and you can see uh, what is the angle between our uh, runway and uh, the wind so if, if you want to face the wind uh, the best runway that we can choose is 20 left or to zero right because it has the least amount of uh, deflection between the wind direction and the runway heading. Uh, as we know the runway's numbers are uh, magnetic numbers so uh, runway two zero uh, the magnetic number for runway two zero is two zero zero and we find the difference between the angle of the wind that is coming at us so one nine zero we take the difference we have only ten degrees so we come here we find our 10 degree deflection, it's right there, and we uh, we want to find uh, how much crosswind and how much headwind do we have. So we start from here, we go all the way to 10, 10 degrees, and uh, the velocity of that wind, it's, uh, actually I forgot, uh, the velocity of that wind is uh, reported as uh, right here, 18 knots, right there. So we're gonna go uh, all the way up, we find 18 knots, this is 20, so this is 20 knot, this is 15 knot, so this is the arc of 20, all this, this here is 20. So we go to 10 degrees and we go to 18 knots, which is the velocity of the wind, so right there, and we go all the way down, this is our crosswind, so we finish up here, and then also we need our headwind, so if we go right there, 
that shows our headwind. Very good. So we have roughly about 18 knots of headwind and uh, 3 knots of crosswind. So we read crosswind here in this uh, horizontal line and then the headwinds on this vertical line. So the best drawn way that we can choose it's two zero left or two zero right because they have the least amount of uh, crosswind component. Thank you for watching.